Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you are dealing with, uh, you know, people that are keeping a lot of secrets from you. So wherever you're working, it seems like, uh, you know, people are, a lot of things going on behind your back or maybe things going on around you that you're not really aware of. Uh, and a lot of, uh, you know, maybe there's a lot of gossip going on. Also, there, there could be some secrets that are coming to light as well. Now, you could be dealing with somebody that's preventing you from going forward. You've got this brown-haired woman and she's got a hand up. So she's somebody that is acting as an obstacle in the place that you're working uh, in. So she's preventing you from moving forward or maybe advancing in your career. And you're finding this particular situation that you're in very, very challenging. So you're dealing with some, you know, nasty energies around you, people keeping secrets and gossips. It's, it's very challenging. You're feeling very unsupported, very lonely as well. And there you have this woman who's a brown haired woman who is also causing some problems for you. So going through a bit of a difficult situation in your work life. Now, it seems like you've started on a brand new journey or some, started something new. Maybe you started a new job uh, in the last year or so. And, you know, you are now becoming an expert or you are an expert in the field that you are at. So, uh, you know, maybe um, you are also trying to make plans for the future of a year. But you have started something brand new and you have you are an expert at what you do as well. Now, going into the future, you've got the faith card over here. So you need to just... Uh, you know, give it some time and maybe pray about it uh, uh, in order for you to move forward. So just have faith that it's all going to work out and some clarity coming as well for you. So there's a new decision that you have to make, but you're also getting some clarity and insight. So, you know, if you're having dreams, um, you know, and um, these are or people are bringing messages to you, you have to take heed of that because they are going to bring you bringing you some kind of clarity, some kind of information that you are, you need. You might be even getting it from somebody from the past that will allow you to make a decision about what to do in this particular situation that you're facing. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Sorcerer's Tarot. And that's for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so you've got this um, page of swords over here. So you are dealing with a really nasty energy going on around you. You could be dealing with a legal situation with this page of swords and you know waiting for news to come in. But also you could be dealing with a sneak, a person who uh, goes around stirring up problems, stirring up, um, uh, you know, causing uh, people to look at you in a very... Uh, negative light as well carrying tales uh you know somebody spying on you so be aware that this kind of energy is around you this kind of person is around you behaving in a very very selfish kind of way but with this page of swords there could be some kind of legal decision as well that you're waiting for some kind of news to come in uh that's official or legal as well so that is the energy of that now um it could also be, you know, there could be new contracts as well coming in with that page of swords as well. So uh, you've got that two of swords. So there's a legal decision that's going to be made. Uh, you know, the swords um, deals with legalities. Uh, some information is coming. You want to make a decision about this particular situation, but you're waiting for that news to come in and you're waiting for that missing piece of information before you, you make a decision. So you haven't taken action yet. You're waiting for things, uh, waiting for some kind of information to come to light. Now, people around you are not really, really uh, good. You're having a lot of problems going around. There's a lot of challenges that you're facing. There's a lot of deadlines that you're working for, uh, working under. So things going on behind your back, be aware of that. But also you're a bit stressed out as well uh, because... Um, you know, you have to uh, produce the goods by a certain time. So there's deadlines that you're working for and you're having to stand up for yourself and defend yourself. So there's some kind of decision that you have to make um, and, you know, you have to be very careful. So you are watching your back over there. So you've got the nine of pentacles over here. So in the recent past, you know, you've had, uh, you know, a lot of uh, financial independence. Uh, you are now, you know, paying your way, looking after yourself, sorting your finances out uh, and, you know, um, you know, earning money and looking after yourself. So uh, a, a lot of financial independence as well. You know, the money may have come in, so that's allowing you a bit more freedom and allowing you to spend a little bit more on yourself.
Now you've got the Eight of Pentacles over here, and this is about learning on the job. This is a Prentice card. So you are learning a lot of new information over there, and you're very, very focused on that work as well. So new information coming. Uh, it might, you know, involve, uh, you know, something that's very mathematical, very scientific that you're working on, uh, but you're definitely very, very focused on it, um, and you're putting all your energy and effort, and that's been going on in the last a uh, few months now you are trying to manifest uh, money as well into your life you've got this uh, magician card over here so working very hard you might be really really busy as well you're also learning a lot of new skills uh, and you're using those skills and applying those skills to your uh, whatever you're doing so also you're also multitasking and you're very very busy at the moment right you know and also whatever you have in your mind you have you're being able to to bring it out. So whatever plans, uh, you know, you have in your mind, you're able to manifest it as well. So you, you're, you're pretty busy right now. So going into the future, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is about, uh, you know, accumulating wealth. So you have been putting a lot of work, work and effort into this particular project or whatever you're doing, and you're waiting for that payout to come. So you are waiting for some kind of payoff to come in after putting a lot of effort and energy into, uh, you know, this particular project. Uh, you are feeling very financially, um, you know, uh, skint, really, if I could say that. You've got this five of so, uh, five of pentacles over here, so there's financial loss. Uh, you know, feeling as though you're disempowered by it. Uh, also having no money and your hands and hands are tied. So this, uh, you know, financial issues that you're having is making you feel, uh, you know, that sense of lack as well, and that's going on with you as well. And there doesn't seem to be much support going on around you as well with this um, five of pentacles. So you're feeling very, very lonely, and you know, feeling uh, very poor really at the moment that is why you are waiting uh for that money to come in with that seven of pentacles now uh it looks like you're gonna have to make some kind of decision over here you've got this king of rods but he's got a choice here two projects uh so there might be a new job coming in for you that may offer you some money you are making plans for the future you've done a lot there's a lot of burdens there's a lot of responsibilities you've had a lot of problems in the past you're trying to put them all behind you and you're trying to make a decision as to what to do next and what project you want to do next so maybe there's been a new job offer that has been presented to you and you're trying to make a decision as to which one is going to bring in the most money so uh you know whatever's happened to you in the past has caused a lot of problems there was a lot of loss you've had loss due to lies and deception deceit you've got a lot of backstabbing going on over there there could have been even a legal situation that you may have faced where you lost out in that situation uh, and this has caused loss and it's caused a lot of upset for you as well now the final outcome you've got this um a queen of rods and you've got the hierophant card and you've got the star card so the queen of rods is you know taking control of that situation you could be dealing with a, a fire sign person which is aries leo or, or sagittarius but this is also whatever job you're doing uh you know you are out there you're putting yourself out there a lot of people are are listening to you so you're in, in the limelight there um, and it looks like, you know, you are taking control of this project. You might be even dealing uh, with a lot of people on an international basis as well with the Queen of Rods. And you, uh, you've got some kind of teaching role going on <coughs> because you're taking on the energy of the Hierophant as well. So being in the spotlight, working on the international front, broadening your horizons, but also taking some kind of teaching role as well. Uh, so uh, putting out a lot of information uh, to people as well with that hyphen card, reaching a very broad audience as well. Uh, you know, it could be something that you're doing, uh, you know, that enhances people financially. So giving a fi financial advice, but also even spiritual advice because it's the hyphen, uh, but something to do with information. And you're very much in the spotlight as well. You've got the star card over here. So you are focusing on a new goal. You have a new idea in your head. And that is what you will be doing. And you've got a lot of hope for the future. You're looking at the past. You've learned a lot of lessons. And now you're going to have some kind of new idea that you want to, a new project that you want to tackle to bring that in. And that's going to bring the money in for you. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, fairy tarot. Okay. Now you've got the balance card, which is the temperance card, which says, take everyone's input into consideration. 
merge viewpoints to create a better solution and take your time. There's no need to rush. So, you know, you are going to be able to sort through this problem. You do need to listen to advice from people uh, uh, as to what to do next. And you have to be bold. You've got this big lion over here. So whatever difficulties you're facing with, watch your back. Uh, make the decision, but listen, make the decision when you get advice from people. So there is information coming to you. You're going to have to listen to that advice before you make whatever decision it is or make a choice uh, about what to do next. You've got the high priestess over here, so trust your instincts. Uh, careful reflection before taking action. Insights that come through meditation. So you might have to do some research as well. So apart from listening to people's advice, you're going to have to do some research uh, as to find uh, finding the solution to whatever problem. This is, could also be a card about you know going back into studying uh, as well with a high priestess. So you definitely have to go and uh, find out, do that research, find out, ask people for advice before you make that decision. And you know whatever decision you make is going to bring in the nine of autumn, uh, which is the reward yourself for your hard work, being happy and successfully self-employed and cherishing your time alone. So it might well be that you know, you're branching off by yourself. You're going to have to listen to what people want. Uh, you're also going to have to take some advice, do some research. And it looks like it's going to bring the money in over here. So hard work is going to pay off. So you are waiting for the seven of pentacles, the money to come in. Uh, and maybe you are working independently. Or maybe you are your own boss. But the money is going to come in with that nine of autumn. Uh, and it's going to alleviate all these financial difficulties that you have been going through. So you know, it looks like your ship is going to come in. You just have to have a little bit of patience, and whatever decision you decide, you know, you make, uh, you know, make sure that you are doing a lot of research, and watch out for like you know sneaky people be going on uh, things going on behind your back or behind the scenes uh, that you don't are not aware of. Like I said, this could be some kind of legal decision or kind of some kind of official decision that is coming in. This could also be signing new contracts or signing contracts as well, uh, you know, dealing with something legal, something official. That kind of news is coming in as well. And it looks like, you know, whatever job you're going to be taking on, you're going to be in the spotlight, but also giving out a lot of advice. And this is going to give you a lot more hope. And also with the star card, you know, it says that whatever you put your, hand, your mind to, whatever you focus on, uh, you can manifest it and it will be a successful manifestation as well. So, uh, you know, you know, try not to cry about what happened in the past. You're going to have to make a decision, as you can see here with this king of uh, rods. Make a decision and move on. Um, so there is some kind of choice as well that is coming in for you. Um, so... You know, maybe a choice for a new project that you have to undertake. That will be the thing that brings in this money that you are waiting for. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.